and left six into right five long tights three past junction 40. Left four over bump into left three long opens over crest 60. Right two half long. And left four, 80. Right three over crest bump, 60. Right five, 80. Right four, don't cut. And left six, don't cut. In this video, I'm going to be making a 3D printable lid for the LTT water bottle. I have the giant version. Now I'm making this lid in Fusion 360. The hardest part was finding the right threads. Also trying to design it so that it wouldn't need multiple pieces. And this is how it looks. And this is a cutaway version. Right here is where you'd put the O-ring. And it'll just clip open and clip shut. Now just printing it out on my Prusa Mark III i3. I'm just printing this in PLA or PETG. But what material you use is up to what you feel comfortable with. There are some good videos out there talking about what materials are food safe or whatever. Now... There's a wonderful wiki how on how to make some nice silicone molds. My favorite are their water and soap method and their cornstarch method. For this, I'm going to be using the cornstarch because it makes a much firmer O-ring and it won't just flop or try and fall out on me because it'll have a nice firmness. Now you want to use gloves because silicone is very sticky. Then you just need to add some silicone to an area that you want to work on. You're going to want to use one part silicone, two parts cornstarch. You can also add some food coloring or dye, but I don't think it's necessary for my application. And then just start mixing it. I typically start by not putting on a lot to begin with and then adding a little bit more later once I've mixed it. And you want to keep mixing it until it has become not sticky. It'll start out sticky and then it'll get not sticky for a bit. And then it'll go back to sticky as you work in the stuff. So then I add a little bit more and then I keep going and I just keep making sure that it's all worked in smoothly. And once it's well mixed, then you can start putting it into the mold. Now I'm just going to be putting it on thick so that it'll squeeze out when I put the two pieces together because then I have a very solid O-ring without hopefully any air bubbles. Putting it together and putting on some nice tight clamps. And there, now I'm just going to pull out the supports. Now when you add supports to the model, you just have to be very careful because if you put them in the slot for the O-ring, you'll have a really hard time getting them out. So I recommend just using supports on the bottom side of the ledge where the o-ring will be going into so that you can remove them safely and they're just cleaning out the excess and now that it's dry I'm just going to push in this little clip and slide the lid in there Now just separating out the mold. Now just going to slowly cut off the excess. This should be pretty easy. Just clean up any excess so that it'll fit into the slot because the tolerances should be fairly tight. And there we go. Seems to be a really good consistency. Now for putting it in, I like to push it into the outside lip and then start press, pressing in and down to get it into the inside lip. This will take a while. You want to start on one end and slowly work your way down. I found it worked quite well using a combination of a small screwdriver to get it to push 
and then an Allen key to push down so as not to puncture it because the screwdriver would just push right through the little o-ring but the allen key has a nice rounded edge so that you can just push down without having to worry about puncturing the o-ring not that that should be too big a deal just going to continue this all the way around then just so just pushing it in and down underneath the lip there pushing in and down and under I'm trying to make sure it gets under all the way. And then once it seems to be in all the way, just going to take the Allen key and push it all the way around to try and make sure that it's not bunched up anywhere, but that it's a nice smooth surface all the way around. And there we go. The O-ring should stay well and should be watertight. There we go take the top piece off you just got to push down on the back clip and then it should slide right off but if you're having too much friction issues you just lightly sand that bottom side and then it should just fit but you want it to be quite snug because the snugger it is the better the watertight finish now to the water bottle you just pop off the original lid and screw on the new one And there we go. And let's try this again. Right five long, times three past junction, 40. Left four over bump. Into left three long, opens over crest, 60. Right two half long. And left four, 80. Right three over crest bump, 60. Right five, 80. Right four don't cut, and left six. I hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.